do SEO tools actually even work? In this video, I'm gonna be telling you everything you need to know about SEO tools and some of the things to look out for. So the first thing we need to understand about SEO tools is that they are not some quick silver bullet that's going to get you amazing rankings. For example, if your website has been built on WordPress, you've no doubt heard of SEO plugins like Yoast or Rank Math. They are not in and of themselves going to get you ranked in Google. What these tools do is they make your life easier by giving you some suggestions that can help you improve the on-page optimization of your website, meaning how easy it is for Google to be able to crawl your website and scan your website and to understand what kind of terms they should be ranking you for. However, just because you have a well-optimized website or you're showing a 100 out of 100 score on Yoast or rank math, that doesn't mean your website is going to rank because there are lots of other factors that are involved in your SEO. I'm going to link to another video that I did recently somewhere up here that gives you a number of quick wins that you can implement to really make sure you're setting the right foundations to give yourself the best chance of ranking organically. So what about all of these keyword research tools out there, right? Things like SEMrush, or you may have even heard of Neil Patel's tool, Ubersuggest. Are they actually any good? Well, again, the same thing applies here. They are good, but it depends what you're trying to use them for. Just by signing up to these platforms doesn't mean that you are going to increase your rankings. But if you put those tools in the hands of the right people, they can be extremely effective tools because what they do is they help you to gain greater insights. So if you put them in the hands of somebody who knows or understands SEO, they can do some serious damage with tools like SEMRA, SE ranking or Ahrefs. However, a couple of things to bear in mind here is that a lot of these tools use their own proprietary algorithms and have different factors that they take into account when scoring websites or giving them a site health audit or giving them a traffic estimation. That's why you can use two different keyword research tools and see very, very different results because they're using different algorithms to calculate those results. The other thing to bear in mind is these tools are effectively using their own databases of keywords. So they don't necessarily know every single search term that is typed into Google. They can only show your positions and keyword positions that actually exist in their data database. Now, whilst tools like SEMrush, for example, has one of the biggest keyword databases out there, it's not necessarily going to be an exhaustive list. So your website may actually be generating traffic from other search terms that aren't listed in the SEMrush database. So one of the things you can do if you're looking to find out what search terms are bringing traffic to your website and also get some tips on how to optimize and improve your SEO or some of the bottlenecks that may be holding you back from ranking is to use Google's own free tool, Google Search Console. So this is Google Search Console. I'm going to link to it in the description below this video as well. If you don't already have an account set up, don't worry. Just click on the link, click the Start Now button, and it will walk you through a process in terms of how to get your domain set up on here. You'll then start seeing a list of your website performance. So this is how your impressions and your total clicks are trending over time. Now, the other interesting thing you can see on here is the queries that are actually bringing clicks to your website. Now, this data is generally going to be far more reliable than any search engine or SEO tool out there because this is actually data straight from Google themselves. So you are able to see the exact search terms that are bringing traffic to your website. So you'll see on the right hand side here, this blue one, this is showing us the search terms that are actually generating clicks to the website. And then on the right of that, it's the impression. So how many times are people seeing this listing? Now, if you've got a very, very high impression count, but very minimal clicks, it either means you just have a terrible title tag of your website so people just aren't clicking on it or it more likely means that you are getting impressions because you are ranking but you're so far down in the search results maybe you're on page two three or four or even further than that so whilst you do get impressions 
people just aren't clicking because most people aren't going that far in the search results page. Now there's a number of other tools in Google Search Console like Page Experience, Core Web Vitals, Mobile Usability, and this will all give you some tips and insights into where there may be potential bottlenecks on your website that are stopping you from ranking. Again, it's going to give you the same kind of information that you'd see on a lot of these SEO tools and audits out there. So in a nutshell, yes, SEO tools do work. It's just really important that you understand what it is you're trying to achieve with them. There isn't any SEO tool out there that you can just plug onto your website and start seeing increased rankings. These tools are really to help you to better optimize your SEO and to give you additional insights or things that you may have missed. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments as to what SEO tools you're using right now and what are the biggest challenges you're facing with growing the organic traffic to your website and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. There's also going to be a video coming up after this one that shows you how to integrate your Google Search Console with Google Analytics so that you can start tracking much more data and monitoring your organic presence over time and really starting to see the results that it's bringing you in terms of leads or sales to your website. I'll see you there.